The Gerson Disruptor. Let's check it out, guys. All right, guys, Scott here. Let's go ahead and do an open box of the, the uh, Gerson Disruptor, but just a few uh, housekeeping things. Just for YouTube's sake, this is a brand new firearm. It is not loaded. It has been checked uh, prior to this video. So that's one thing just for YouTube there. Uh, second of all, this was provided to me by uh, EA Corp. So to do a review on this, um, had an opportunity to meet with them out at the GOA conference and was able to shoot this firearm at their at GOA's range day and really was impressed with it. And I said, you know, this would be an excellent firearm for anybody, but also a, uh, a southpaw shooter. So definitely they were willing to send me this firearm to do a review on it. So uh, that is one thing. And also guys, if you can hit that subscribe button that's there in the bottom right hand corner of this video, that would be greatly appreciated. And definitely leave comments. And I do love receiving comments. I love to, interacting with uh, the view, you viewers and my subscribers, you know, definitely, you know, answering questions and all that. If I don't have the answers for that, I will definitely reach out and find those answers um, if, I, if it's possible and all that. But definitely uh, uh, do some comments below. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and, and go ahead and break this down and go through the specs and some of nice things about this and some things that I could see improvement on. Um, <clears throat> so, of course, you're gonna get the firearm here, and of course, and your, your manual. Let me just put that aside here. You'll get two additional back straps. Uh, it comes installed with a medium, so you'll get a small and a large back strap. Uh, so that is a nice added feature. Uh, you do get two magazines. There's one in here right now. That is the 17 plus one, and you'll also get an additional 17 plus one. I did see a review out there and the gentleman was saying it only came with one. Um, so I'm not sure if he got an older version of this or it didn't, you know, accidentally did not come with one. I'm not sure. Uh, of course, you get your infamous uh, gun lock that we all have about 30 of these in somewhere in our closet for a gun safe. And then you'll also get a uh, bore brush, uh, brass bore brush and all that. Um, so those are nice things there, but two nice features they do provide. And I was, you know, I had to look through the manual. It's this one, this tool here is to be used when cleaning and oiling. If you can see that, I'm trying to make sure you guys can see that. That is for the magazine. So basically that little indent there, that's what you use to press down and release the spring system on your magazines for cleaning and all that. Nice feature. I wish a lot of other uh, manufacturers would come with this. I mean, it's something, you know, really thoughtful uh, uh, tool and all that. I wish I had this when I worked at the range, man. I did a lot of the uh, P365XL, adding the, the extended magazine plates and all that. and wish I had something like this. It definitely would be a great tool. And then of course they provide an Allen key to, uh, to remove the optic plate. So those are what you get with the firearm, with with what comes in the box. Uh, very nice feature, and I do like the card case. Um, you know, you do get like that with the canic and all that, so definitely a nice feature. So let's go ahead, and I'm gonna bring this back in. So just let me go through some of the specs here. So the overall length of the firearm is almost eight inches, 7.9 inches. So it'll be there to there. Um, the barrel itself is 4.6 inches and that's including the one and a half by 28 threaded barrel. So, you know, so that definitely, it's long, it's big. This is a definitely a full size firearm. Uh, the width is about one and a quarter inches. So again, that is the, uh, you know, it's definitely a full size. Like I said, just said that, but, uh, definitely a good, Good, th good about it, you know. So those are the um, the specs here, and also for height, it's going to be six inches with the magazine in it. So from here to here, six inches. So those are your overall specs. Um, the magazine capacity, as I said, it's seventeen plus one. The trigger pull is about six pounds. Um, 
I've never had problem with trigger pulls, you know, being light or, or whatever. You're just going to have to adjust to each firearm that you use. I know, and you know, having a two pound or, or lighter, you know, basically for competition, but for the average person, this is not a bad weight for, uh, for a trigger pull. And the overall weight for this is empty is about 30 ounces. And then with loaded uh, ammo using 124 grain nine mil, it's about 36 and a half ounces. So it is, it is hefty. Um, it does come with an RMS, RMSC direct mount plate. Uh, the one thing, a disadvantage about this plate is you do lose your, your rear sight. So hopefully maybe in the future, you know, Gerson and EA Corp who manages them would work on doing a plate where you, you keep the rear sights. Um, there are a few optics out there. I think the, the um, Swamp Fox Sentinel has, they have a nice feature there. So the Sentinel has front, rear sights that are attached to the front of the optic and they are removable. So if you don't want them there, or don't want them, you can remove them, but it definitely will give you that rear sight if the optic you know happens to to die on you and all that so those are the specs of this um so let me go ahead i guess i can leave the magazines out uh the craftsmanship on this the and everything is 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 excellent on par i mean there is nothing about this that says that this is for the price that this is a a cheap gun this is an inexpensive high quality gun that's what this to me it shows uh this has their a nice camouflage, um, I guess, Cerakoting on this. Very nice. Like it very much. Um, at, at the uh, GOA, I had the opportunity to shoot their green one that comes in the camo, and that one was really cool. I mean, definitely, this is the one they sent me. Um, I didn't, you know, specify a color, but definitely, you know, if they sent me the green one, I would have been just as happy. So, you know, definitely a nice feature. And the slide itself, the... the, the uh, the workmanship on this is amazing. It's not your typical block slide. It definitely has some pat, you know, some texture to it. it. Has some different angles, you know. So it definitely is not your typical Glock slide or anything like that. So hopefully you can see that. But definitely nice. Definitely nice features. Uh, the rear serrations are good. Um, the front serrations, I would probably either have brought them up into here take off the mc9 since they're kind of dropping that name and just going with the disruptor move that all back and maybe brought these front serrations up into here or definitely made them a little bit more aggressive a little bit more th thicker and all that and brought them further down here on the slide so you had a little bit more room to do some you know press you know press checks and all that so that's two things i would think that you know you would need to look at and the other thing is here is their their sites are proprietary so it's not like you can go out and get aftermarket i did look you know you know did some research could not find anything so you know that's another uh, somewhat of a drawback you know they're not your typical you know glock sites or your uh CZ sights that you can replace and like I said you lose the rear sights once you take off the plate here and put an optic on it so but not a big factor I don't think it is I mean I've never had issues with any of the sights it definitely has a nice uh, view and all that so happy of that it does have your your indicator on the rear and all that um, it does with the trigger, it has a little, let me reset it. It does have a little travel, but definitely you can feel the wall and definitely a good tactile sound to it. Um, like I said, one it might break in a little bit better. The one I shot, I mean, I did not have any issues with the trigger. Uh, it's definitely a curved trigger with your little safety toggle there. Um, good room inside your trigger guard if you're wearing gloves and all that at the winter time so there's definitely a lot of room in there to, to handle that um, so basically what i found that this is a, what makes this an excellent gun for the price is that it is ambidextrous it's not fully ambidextrous but it is ambidextrous because it comes with you have ambidextrous slide locks and in the, in their 
manual. They identify them as slide locks, not slide release, which is nice. And then it has the mag release can be swapped out. So that to me is the difference between a full ambidextrous and an ambidextrous uh, firearm that when you take this out of the box, being full ambidextrous, both magazines work, you know, both sides of the magazine release work at that moment. This here, you would have to get in and, and if you're not, if you're new to it or you're not comfortable doing gunsmithing, you would have to take this to a gunsmith, you know, and have it swapped out where if it's fully ambidextrous, there's nothing you need to do. So that is the only difference. Um, Definitely, like I said, what I like about having the slide lock is if I'm in a situation where I have a malfunction and I'm in a self-defense situation, I'm able to lock that slide back, you know, and being able to keep that firearm in front of me, you know, and keeping my vision to my situation. So that is definitely a nice feature. And I think as you I break this in and run a couple hundred rounds or so, you know, it'll even get even smoother. So definitely those are nice features to this. So those are the specs. Those are my uh, insight on this firearm. So I'm going to do a quick breakdown and give you an opportunity to see, you know, just again, the craftsmanship inside the firearm. This has a similar takedown, I think, of a Smith & Wesson. So basically you're going to lock the slide back. And then you got your takedown lever there. Um, there we go. And then you're going to slowly release your slide lock and then pull your trigger and then everything slides right off. Now, of course, to get the barrel out, you're going to remove your thread protector, uh, remove your recoil spring and rod, and then your barrel. And if you want to look here, I mean, the craftsmanship on the barrel is very nice. I mean, definitely they did a nice job. There's nothing, uh, you know, everybody says, you know, everybody thinks the Glocks or Smith & Wesson, but, and this coming from Turkey, there are people hesitant about it. But I'll tell you, the craftsmanship here is nice. You know, I think it's in par with a Canik. Now the trigger, I would not consider in par with a Canik or a Walther, but definitely better than a, uh, SIG. I'm not a big fan of SIGs and definitely better than a Glock. So those are the breakdown of that. And then here, if you look, you know, the, you know, very smooth milling, there's no markings, uh, very nice coating on it, you know, evenly coated. So de they definitely do a nice job. Um, and then of course it has your typical, you know, striker fire frame and all that. So, you know, definitely you know, definitely nice work. So then, of course, to put this back, you know, you're going to put your barrel in. You're going to put your recoil spring in. You know, you can do this now or put the thread protector on now or later. And then you're going to put this back on. Now, this I've been having a little bit of trouble with getting it all back in it's just I think it's just going to get used to make sure it's there you go and then lock that back bring that there really release and just test and yep I know it looks like I'm it's not doing the safety toggle but man it just it's very sensitive you just get a little bit on it it does release that safety so everything there is safe everything looks good so that is the the Gerson disruptor uh, definitely I would recommend this even for any shooter and like I said for a southpaw the nice thing it does have that ambidextrous slide lock and the opportunity to swap out to the mag to the other side, which I don't do because I'm the only left-handed person in my family. Um, so guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And definitely uh, you know, provide some comments. I would love to hear what you guys think of this review and all that. And watch out for, I'm going to be doing another one of field stripping and cleaning this firearm. And I'm also, I just started a new series called Range Day, where I'll be taking this firearm out to the range and allowing people there at the range to shoot it and then to give them my, and to give me their feedback. So definitely watch for those videos coming up guys and be safe.